The answer is Shape Genie, because all she has to do is trace the shape she wants to measure, and our software will extract that shape and turn it into a number so unique that even deep learning cannot do it. Hi, all. I'm Dave Nguyen, CEO of Brain Skinology and inventor of Shape Genie, a software that measures biological shapes that are hidden to AI and the naked eye. Okay, meet Dr. Renee. She is the best radiologist out there. And at 9 a.m., she is full of energy. Her diagnostic accuracy is 100%. And she's ready to train the next generation of radiologists. But by 3 p.m., she's exhausted. And as much as she wants to save lives, her accuracy drops. And her attitude is that she wishes her trainee would just stop asking so many questions. The pain points that she faces are also faced by surgeons and neuropsychiatrists. That is one, there's no tool to help her be accurate even when she's tired. Two, she cannot measure shapes that her experience tells her should be important. And three, cutting edge AI methods don't work on old MRI machines. So the treasure trove of data that her hospital sits on goes to waste. The answer is Shape Genie because all she has to do is trace the shape she wants to measure and our software will extract that shape and turn it into a number so unique that even deep learning cannot do it. The way this works is analogous to sound waves. Just as the human ear has a hard time hearing the frequencies of a dog whistle, the human eye has a hard time picking out subtle differences in shapes. What we did is we turned a shape into a sound wave so that we can break that sound wave into its individual parts wherein a lot of secrets are hidden. Our software works across all the major imaging modalities, which includes x-rays, ultrasound, MRI, and even uh, images from a smartphone camera. We allow scientists and physicians to measure shapes that they didn't know they should have been measuring all along. For example, we developed an Alzheimer's detection model based on MRI using just three slices per MRI. That's three out of hundreds of available slices. If you ask any lab out there if they can do it in three slices, they'll tell you that either I'm lying or I'm way ahead. The alpha version has already launched, but the beta version of Shape Genie will launch in January in a matter of weeks. We offer a freemium subscription model, so anyone can create a free account at a limited capacity to test our software. And then they have the option of upgrading to a premium account and even hiring us for professional service through which we will analyze data for them. Regarding competitors, they are either generic PACS systems for viewing x-rays and such, or their software that only works on one specific disease, such as Alzheimer's. Shape Genie does it all, but the most exciting and awesome part is that Shape Genie allows scientists to measure significant differences even in small data sets. So this makes the process of discovering new things a lot faster and a lot easier. The medical imaging market is $34 billion and growing rapidly, especially due to COVID-19 and social distancing. Our go-to-market strategy is B2B, okay, with healthcare providers, pharma, and biotech. Essentially, anybody who has to interpret an image that comes from a scanner or a microscope. In terms of finances, we've raised a little under a million dollars in the past two years, and we project to bring in 15 to 20 million in non-dilutive SBAR grants because of our patents. Our early adopters come from premier institutions all around the world, with new ones being added each month. And our team is poised for success because we are each highly accomplished in our area of expertise. We also have the backing of the government uh, to help us get funding from the government because they are that excited about our software. In terms of where we are now, we would appreciate referrals to industry partners, to academic labs, biotech, and pharma who to test out our software. And then in June next year, we will seek a price seed round of 3 million, which will fund our sales and marketing efforts and our grant writing efforts. Because again, we are the only software in town that can measure shape the way we do. Thank you. Thank you, David. Great job. A question from an attendee about how you're managing privacy for patient data. Yes, so our uh, SaaS software uh, has the uh, HIPAA compliant and it has uh, authentication and login. And eventually in the future, it will connect directly to uh, the uh, uh, PAC system that uh, hospitals uh, uh, use to view and store MRI. And so it's a direct connection without the need for downloading and uploading. 
That's great. Um, can you share a little bit more? You briefly mentioned biotech and pharma companies. Um, how can they benefit from your software? How, you, how are you working with them? Yeah, and so, you know, pharma and drug companies, they test drugs on cells first, right? whether grown in 2D or 3D. Uh, and, you know, cells other than dying or not dying, right? They have many subtle phenotypes. And so we allow uh, biotech and pharma companies to measure all these different states of health of a cell so that, you know, they spend money on developing all these uh, molecules as drugs, right? And uh, so they can uh, better figure out that though this one drug doesn't kill say the cancer cells it actually stops them uh, from growing. And that might be still beneficial, right, to the patient. And so uh, our shape analysis allows them to just get more out of um, you know, the data, data that they already generate. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, historically, AI models based on MRI images have a kind of a bad track record of working on data from various hospitals. Um, can you share a little bit about how you are overcoming that? Yeah, one of the main problems with uh, image-based, uh, you know, MRI-based models is that uh, the 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 version of the scanner is very important, as in how high the resolution of the image is, right? So different hospitals have different uh, scanners uh, from different time periods, and so that's been a major problem. We saw that because uh, we don't measure signal intensity; we measure shape, and as long as you can pick out that shape clearly in both an old MRI and a new, a new MRI, our software will work. Right, so that's one of the ways in which we solve this problem. And the uh, last question here, what are examples of images from smartphone cameras that your software can analyze? Yeah, so uh, one example would be hand-drawn uh, 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 psych uh, psychological tests, right? Like what's called a clock draw test. You can draw a clock, right? Showing uh, 10 minutes past 11 on a piece of paper. And turns out that's very helpful in diagnosing uh, what stage of dementia you're at, right? Uh, and so we are developing, um, you know, an AI model that will send you a, a report card on, you know, the state of your executive planning, right? Based on how you drew a clock on a piece of paper, right? So all you need is pencil, paper, and a smartphone, and uh, you can have rapid access to this model.